Welcome to this exciting video all about the OSINT framework. In today's digital age, information is power, and having access to the right information can make all the difference. That's where the OSINT framework comes in. It's a set of tools and techniques used to gather and analyze publicly available information, and it has become an indispensable tool for security researchers, investigators, and anyone looking to uncover the truth. In this video, we will delve into the world of OSINT and explore the different ways that it can be used. From uncovering hidden secrets to tracking down malicious actors, the OSINT framework is a powerful tool that can help you to make sense of the world around you. So, sit back, relax, and get ready to learn all about the OSINT framework and how you can use it to your advantage. The OSINT framework is a valuable tool for cybersecurity researchers and penetration testers as it provides a comprehensive collection of OSINT tools and resources in one easy-to-use web-based interface. The framework is organized into different categories, such as username, email address, domain name, and vulnerabilities, making it easy to search for specific information. Additionally, the framework includes tools for searching the dark web, identifying phone numbers, and searching for code. One of the main benefits of the OSINT framework is that it allows users to easily access a wide range of resources and tools, without having to manually search for them. This saves time and effort, allowing researchers to focus on analyzing the data they have collected. The framework also includes a useful classification system, which helps users identify areas they may have neglected to explore in their research. One of the most popular categories within the OSINT framework is the email address category, which includes a variety of resources for searching for email addresses and information related to data breaches. Some of the most popular resources in this category include Have I Been Pwned, The Hashed, and Breach Data. Additionally, the framework includes tools for searching for information on social networks, including LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Another useful category within the OSINT framework is the domain name category, which includes a variety of resources for searching for information on domain names and DNS history. Some of the most popular resources in this category include Security Trails, Mnemonic, PTRarchive.com, and DNS Dumpster. Additionally, the framework includes tools for searching for vulnerabilities, such as MageScan, SN1PER, Asafa Web, ZoneH.org, and XSSpose.org. The OSINT framework also includes a category dedicated to the dark web, which includes resources for searching for information on the dark web, including general information, dark web clients, content discovery, tour search, and directories. Some of the most popular resources in this category include Deep.Web, I2P Anonymous Network, Tor Download, Onion Investigator, and Docker Onion Nmap. The framework also includes a category for searching for phone numbers, which includes resources for identifying incoming calls and tracking phone numbers. Some of the most popular resources in this category include OpenCNUM, HLR Lookup Portal, Data247, NextCaller, CalreadService.com, and Mr. Number. Another useful category within the OSINT framework is the Code Search category, which includes resources for searching for code. Some of the most popular resources in this category include GitHub, GitLab, and SourceForge. Additionally, the framework includes tools for searching for information on cloud services, such as Cloudflare Watch and CloudFail. Overall, the OSINT framework is a comprehensive and valuable tool for cybersecurity researchers, penetration testers, and anyone else looking to gather information on individuals or organizations. It provides a wide range of resources and tools in one easy-to-use interface, making it easier to find and access the information you need. Hackers can use the information mentioned above for malicious purposes in several ways. For example, if a hacker gains access to a person's name and email address, they can attempt to use that information to launch a phishing attack. The hacker can send an email that appears to be from a trusted source, such as a bank or other financial institution, and request sensitive information such as login credentials or credit card numbers. If the recipient is tricked into providing this information, the hacker can use it to steal their identity or money. Another way hackers can use the information is by taking advantage of security vulnerabilities in software. If a hacker is aware of a weakness in a specific software application, they can use that information to gain unauthorized access to a system or network. This can result in sensitive information being stolen, or the hacker may use the access they have gained to spread malware or launch other malicious attacks. Additionally, if a hacker knows the operating system and version that a person is using, they can research and find known vulnerabilities for that system. By exploiting these vulnerabilities, the hacker can gain access to the user's device or network and steal sensitive information or launch other attacks. Finally, if a hacker has access to a person's IP address, 
they can use it to launch a denial of service DOS, attack. A DOS attack is a type of attack where the hacker floods the victim's network with a large amount of traffic, causing the network to become unavailable to its users. This can result in damage to the target's online reputation, financial losses, and other types of harm. In summary, the information a hacker can gain from the sources mentioned can be used in several ways to cause harm to individuals and organizations. It is important to protect personal information and keep software and systems updated with the latest security patches to help prevent against these types of attacks. In conclusion, I hope you have found this video informative and valuable. Your support and engagement with the channel through likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. By subscribing to the channel, you will be supporting us in bringing you more content that you find valuable. Moreover, by using the Amazon affiliate link provided, you will not only be able to purchase the products you need, but also support the growth of the channel. Every purchase you make through the affiliate link will contribute to the channel's growth, enabling us to make more videos that provide value to you. So, don't hesitate to make use of the affiliate link and make your purchases today. Thank you for your continued support and for watching this video.